join the system and let it destroy you. Or fight it. Shelf life in my line of work is pretty limited. Snowfall. What's up, YouTube? It's your boy, Mark Dark, and I'm back with another video. If you're new, if you love Snowfall, go ahead and hit that subscribe button, like the video, and leave your theories, comments, everything down below. Now, today, we're going to be talking about Snowfall Season 4, the official trailer. This is the recap. I'm going to try my best to focus on all the key parts in this trailer. If I miss anything, you guys let me know. Make sure you follow the Everything Snowfall Season 4 playlist. Um, I've been trying my best to keep you guys up updated on the latest snowfall news i know a lot of people are very excited for this trailer and they've been asking me to drop the recap so your boy finally dropped it um we're definitely going to break this down man because it's a lot of different things that i saw in this trailer and i got a feeling just like i told you guys in the past that season four is definitely going to be great but at the same time it's going to be sad because you're going to see a whole a lot of body drop a whole lot of gang violence and Franklin Saint is definitely going to have to step up to the plate when it comes to his family. So let's begin the recap. What did we see? Of course, we see your boy Franklin and he has that cane. He's still recovering from those gunshot wounds. And he's saying it's either you join the system and let it destroy you or you fight it. So Franklin Saint is definitely going to be dealing with a whole lot man a lot of pressure will be put on his back because we already know that franklin wants to save his community which is going to be very hard for him to do he did not want to bail out now watching the trailer what we see is this a sense of expanding this business this is what franklin wants to do we could have pretty much expect this to happen he's going to be working with teddy at a higher level and you saw he's going to be in the warehouses um shipping bigger loads of product this is going to get taken to a whole nother level and when you take it up to that level that means it's going to be even more violent for franklin saint and his whole crew as you can see right here i mean this is a lot of drugs this is probably not something that they're used to doing but if you're going to be working with teddy and gustavo of course it's going to be a whole lot of product being brought in and at the same time with the whole gang wars and stuff going down like this it's not going to be good, man. I'm telling you that right now. Now, speaking of expanding the business, we know that Teddy, of course, had a deal with Gustavo in Mexico. And we saw at the end of season three what they was doing. My question is this for you guys. Did Teddy and Gustavo work out a game plan as far as what's going to happen to Gustavo when this is all done? Because we know Franklin Saint, he wants Teddy to take care of him. What is Teddy promising Gustavo is it going to be the same results I'm gonna tell you right now I can't see it ending well for all these guys someone is going to go down whether it's Teddy whether it's Franklin or Gustavo is not going to end well as we saw in this trailer we can see Gustavo he's throwing down the product of course or money inside this underground tunnel now you know back in the day the drug game man they shipped drugs underground hell on the water on, in planes i mean everywhere but this is a, a tactic that they use back in the day of course we see it time and time again in the drug game even in today's world now we see your boy scully he is back and they showed us kind of like a flash of what's to come we know game wars will be at a whole nother level now aunt louis is telling your boy franklin look if we go to war we cannot handle this yes you can't because it's going to be entirely too much going on i made these videos for you guys explaining all this negativity all these game wars it's going to get crazy um of course your boy man boy is back and he's ready to go to war he's ready to go at it once again and it seems like it's going to be man boy versus scully um the crits versus the bloods and it's going to get very violent i'm telling you that right now Yes, they are teaching us a history lesson, but at the same time, it is kind of sad to see those communities destroyed, especially for those people that live through those times. And as we can see, Scully, he's on one. This season, he's not playing around at all. We know his boys got shot all up um, at the end of season three. And we know, just looking at this, he's going to be after Man Boy, in my opinion. And Man Boy, he had a great relationship with franklin before all of this went down but franklin got shot up 
and of course things probably change so we're gonna see just how cool Franklin is with man boy right then we see a funeral and you can see his two castings in the back right I'm gonna tell you right now it's gonna get ugly as I told you and I made videos in the past about major death coming of course we already saw images of them being at a, a, a grave site of course and Scully is telling Franklin look he ain't stopping he gonna get that payback so it seems like at least Scully and Franklin does have a sense of respect um, as far as dealing with this drug game but it seems like it's others out there coming at them and we see the gang signs being called I'm gonna tell you right now it's about to get crazy man um, I haven't seen much violence in snowfall this much violence in any snowfall trailer this trailer definitely seemed like it had a way more violence in it then we get to Leon and Leon he's in a scene that's reminded me a whole lot of of boys in the hood i got some boys in the hood vibes from this and you guys know exactly what i'm talking about when ice q rolled up on the guys that shot at ricky this is reminding me a lot of that scene and of course it is directed and written by your boy john singleton and of course we know this will be gang related leon is going to be a part of all this stuff that's going on hopefully he can make it out alive it looks like it's going to get very very graphic and somebody's going to drop i'm telling you all these bodies these people that's connected to franklin um there's no way all these people is going to survive now of course teddy is telling franklin look i can help you out but i'm not down to be trying to stop gang wars um i'm not a part of all that so we already know that Teddy's aware on what's going on. Hell, anybody should be aware of all the violence. Um, and speaking about violence, Scully, once again, we see him. And as I told you, it's looking like we're going to see him a lot more in this season. We didn't really see a whole lot of him in season three. But based off this trailer, we've seen a lot of his character. I can't wait to see how it all plays out. Franklin's going to have to decide if this is what he really wants to do. He says he wants to stay down and, you know, stay down for his community but his community is destroying everything but at the end of the day you know Aunt Louis is going to tell him look this stuff is getting very graphic I mean I don't know if you understand but we not going to survive if we go to war and Franklin has to understand that whatever he's thinking it has to be a, a very smart game plan trust me his mom is scared his dad is probably worried about what's going to go down um in this trailer we see them or we see his dad talking about i'm not running franklin is telling them look they may know where we live you know what i'm saying y'all might be in danger i mean yes y'all are all in danger trust me but his dad in this trailer is talking about look we ain't running nowhere but if i'm not mistaken at the end of season three wasn't Franklin's mom and, you know, and his dad talking about we can just leave. We can go and buy another house or move somewhere else. And Franklin was the one that was talking about, look, I'm down to the state. I can't leave my community like that. So it seems like thing ha things have changed. I don't know what's going to happen. Um, but I think Franklin just wants to protect his family at the end of the day. I don't think Franklin is running nowhere, but he wants to make sure that his family is safe. We saw your boy Franklin. He's going to be in the shootout. Um, like I say, he can't avoid all this negativity. Everything is not just going to breeze by him. Even though he's bringing in a lot of product, he's going to have issues. And then his mother is telling him, you know, how are we going to get out of this without getting in touch? You know, explain to me, make me believe that this is going to happen. And to be honest, I don't think Franklin is. He's not going to be able to protect everybody. And it's quite aware based off this trailer that Franklin Saint is being watched. Um, I talked about this in my what to expect video for Franklin. He will be watched. The boys will be on him. But Franklin, he will have a heads up every time. He's going to be moving very smartly. And that's because his ally, Teddy, is going to give him the heads up on what's going on based off this trailer that we saw in Teddy can only do so much, man. It's only he only can do so much, but it's quite obvious that they know someone is helping Franklin. How is he always able to survive and get out of these situations? So I won't be surprised if they try to press the attack and figure out if it's anybody on the inside that's doing things to try to help your boy Franklin out. 
Then once again, we see Teddy and we see Gustavo. And it seems like the two are getting very, very close. Like they got a mission. I think they're going to try to take out some competition. Someone probably got in their way. We know that Teddy and Gustavo will try to run things in Mexico. Hell, it could be other places as well. I'm wondering if, if they're going to ever make a trip out to Colombia. I mean, we know they be in Mexico, but are they going to make that trip out to Colombia? Because you already know that's where a lot of product really comes from. But besides all that, it seems like Teddy is going to get his hands dirty. And Teddy will do whatever he has to do to get the job done. Remember, he's taking this very seriously. He wants to catch people at the end of the day. Yes, he wants to fund this war, but at the same time, he's willing to take out people. And it seems like he's going to be taking out some people um, this season. But I'm telling you right now, Teddy, if I'm him, he better watch his back as well because he's probably thinking he's going to get out of this. I mean, this guy has almost died in prior seasons. Somehow, some way, he's able to escape. But he's telling Franklin, look, he's put his whole life on the line. I mean, he's risked everything for this case and Franklin can't do nothing but laugh at him like okay you risk everything um and also Franklin wants to know you know how long can this work how long does the government want to fund this war eventually this is going to end now in this scene right here we see a lot of bloodshed right we see words look like it's saying zoo or whatever or, you know regardless I have a feeling this is cartel related so if the cartel is involved in this it goes to show you that this is getting very, very serious. At the end of the day, it's with the game related or cartel related. And no cartels don't play around, man. I'm telling you right now. Gustavo, of course, as I told you guys, he needs a game plan. Working with, with um, Teddy alone, you can't trust him at all. <laughs> then we get to the OG, triple OG, Stephen Williams. Everybody wanted to know where did he go? Where did Q go from the shy? Well, look, your boy Q, he don't went to California. He's kicking it with Franklin's mom. He's going to be playing a character named Paul. And I'm eager to know exactly what he's going to be doing. Will he be in the drug game? Will he be someone that is running a legal business? Now, we get to another shootout, another drive-by. Things like this happen all the time back in the day. The sad part is it got worse. What we're seeing is probably in like 86, 87. Um, and I made videos talking about how everything pretty much got worse. Um, of course, in the trailer, we see Officer Nixon. Now, Franklin tells him, look, you think you got something on me, right? And the last thing that Officer Nixon needs to do is underestimate Franklin. That's what Officer Wright did. Melanie's father did that. He didn't think Franklin would do what he needed to do to get the job done and that's take him out if officer nixon believes that franklin won't take him out he is really mistaken and his days are numbered if that's the case because franklin would definitely do that and then they show somebody getting thrown off a balcony or whatever i'm gonna tell you right now officer nixon he better have a game plan as well because i got a feeling he may not just make it this season if he think he's gonna screw over franklin then we get the return to Ivy. I'm going to tell you right now, once again, if I'm Franklin Saint, I will watch this guy at all times. This guy is already a certified rat. He will rat you out. He's going to make sure he has an insurance policy when this is all said and done. Ivy needs to be watched at all times. I don't care if he helped Franklin, you know, move his first brick and stuff like that. This guy right here cannot be trusted at all. Franklin definitely needs to keep him close just in case it all goes down and he needs to continue to watch the guy. Then we get to a new character and it seems like we have a new detective or officer of the law who's going to be watching everything that Franklin does. He wants to catch him. He wants to get close. He wants to do what has not been done yet and that is catch Franklin, which you already know that's probably not going to happen with the help of Teddy, right? Then we get Franklin's mom, Sissy. She's in the back of a cruiser, a police cruiser. What did she do? Where did she slip up? At the end of the day, your boy Franklin is probably thinking like, man, this lifestyle has cost me a lot. I got my mom. She's in the back of a police cruiser. Um, the lifestyle that I chose has brought me a whole lot of negative consequences. 
was or is this even worth doing? That's the question that Franklin's going to ask himself time and time again. You know, this drug game, this drug and what it's done to the community and what it's going to do to his family is going to be very crucial. And then we get to your boy Leon and Franklin. They're having another argument. And it seems like Leon is pissed off. He's like, I told you. So definitely something that Leon has told Franklin that happened. And Franklin is like, look, all right, okay, fine. That's cool. You did tell me. I'm going to tell you right now. These two are going to go back and forth this season. And to be 100% honest with you guys, I just don't know if this relationship is going to be the same. If this friendship is going to be as solid as it used to be in prior seasons. And then as I zoomed up, on this scene right here, we can see Uncle Jerome. We can see Aunt Louie. I'm telling you right now, hopefully she didn't get caught up in um, some gunfire. But we know it's going to be gang wars. And don't be surprised if she ends up getting hit. And if she does get hit or hurt, this will spark a lot of negative energy. And that alone will want to make Franklin and Jerome want to go to war, want to get back, right? And then we get to the argument between Franklin and his father, of course, we know in the past, his father has always told Franklin what he believed was best. Of course, when it came to Teddy, told him not to trust him. So I want to know what this argument is about. Maybe he's tired of all the stuff that's going on. Maybe he's tired of living the life that they're living. And I'm going to tell you right now, it's going to get worse. Now we get the return of your girl, Melody. She has returned. The questions have been answered if she's going to return. I'm going to tell you right now. FX Fox, they do a great job at keeping um, content on lock. Of course, they don't really release a whole lot of spoilers and stuff like that. So this is good news. Melody has returned. Some say they think she clean. I say there's no way. I don't think she's clean. Um, I'm eager to see what's going to happen within her storyline. How will she respond after those events of shooting Franklin, almost killing him? And also, where is Melody at? You know what I'm saying? Will she be in this season like that? Hmm. That is a question that we have to wait and find out the answers to. But I am happy that she has returned. Then we get to your boy Leon. And Leon is looking like someone is after him. And then we see, of course, Franklin holding a gun. So they're making it seem like Franklin is holding his gun at Leon. It could be the case, right? It could be the case. Um, We have to wait and see how that all plays out. But... The whole relationship, friendship between Franklin and Leon, as I told you guys earlier, will definitely change this season. It's not going to be the same no more. Um, this season is rather going to break the relationship or make it. Hopefully, the two can work things out and become stronger. Then we see an explosion, of course, and Leon is out there. It seems like maybe someone tried to blow them up or blow him up. Um, at the end of the day, as I told you earlier, this season is already looking very explosive, right? Um, more action in this trailer than I've seen in the whole series of Snowfall. And then the um, trailer ends off with your boy Franklin saying, look, um, shelf work is very limited in his field. I'm going to tell you right now, Snowfall season four, it's about to go down, man. As I told you guys last year, hell, over a year and a half ago, I made the video right after Snowfall season three ended. And I said, Snowfall Season 4 will be great. And I'm sticking to my word. Um, I believe, even with the passing of John Singleton, this season still will be great. They're going to use what they learned from John Singleton. Of course, they were he are heavily inspired by him. This story is. And, you know, yes, some say this is the story of Rick Ross. I think they're going to mix a whole lot of different elements within this season. Um realistically speaking the gang wars as i told you in prior videos that's why i tell you guys to follow the playlist because i broke it down for you guys even showed some old school footage of how graphic and sad things was in the in the 80s um and once again as i explain it to you guys it's going to get worse if they're in 86 87 you know and what we're seeing right now and it's looking very bad the sad part is it gets worse. It gets worse. 88, 89, 90, 91. It's going to get very bad. This season is not going to be pretty. 
you know, yes, it does look great and everything like that. But at the end of the day, this story of what's really going on, of, of what really went on back then is actually a sad story. And I believe that this cast and this crew, the directors, the writers, they're going to put it together. They're going to make a masterpiece. Season four is highly anticipated. I can't wait to see it, man. February 24th. We're almost there. They're going to be airing the first two episodes. So I'm going to be up all night. I'm going to be up all night. We're going to drop that first episode recap. And then we're definitely going to work on that second one. Man, I can't wait, y'all. I hope y'all got y'all energy drinks. I hope y'all ready. Snowfall Season 4 is right around the corner. Everybody's ready. Everybody's hype. Now, if I miss anything, you guys let me know down below in those comics section. Um, and also let me know what you want to see. I'm going to continue to break down those characters. Follow the playlist. I just wrote down Franklin and what we can expect from his character a few days ago. So expect to see more characters to come. We're going to continue to get you guys ready for Snowfall Season 4. I know you guys are very excited for what's to come in the future. But um, thank you guys for all the support, all the love. And I will catch y'all on the next one. But um, let me get on out of here, man. It's your boy Mark Dark. I'm out. Peace.